What's up guys, welcome to another video. It's a Friday video where we're just gonna be looking around a supercar. So look behind me, we've got a GTR. It's been, I can't even remember the last time there was a GTR on the channel, um, but this is a very, very cool one. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, a friend of mine met you who I actually, you know, we were speaking on Instagram and we met today. This is his Instagram. He brought this car over very nicely so that we could film it this morning. It's an early morning filming before we get a day's, day's work in. But yeah, it looks awesome, this car. We've got some pretty cool surroundings as well. I mean, look at the size of this bad boy and this one right here. This boat, look at the turbine. How insane is that? Anyways, we're in Monaco. Today, we're going to look at this car. So I'm going to walk you around, first of all, the aesthetics what he's changed um, visually on the outside of the car. Then we're gonna look at the inside, then we're gonna do the engine, and then we're gonna take it for a drive. Um, because this thing is an animal. So first of all, it's wrapped. This is kind of a Nardo gray. The, the color is not officially called Nardo gray. Um, it's some, some other gray name, but it effectively is Nardo gray. It looks Nardo gray, and it looks awesome on the GTR. I think it matches the kind of like slightly aggressive lines around front and the design of the car quite well. Um, he's then also added the front splitter is usually in black here it's been put in carbon so a real carbon front splitter looks awesome kind of adds a, a slightly more dynamic look to the car this piece right here is going to be changed into carbon as well the GTR logo blacked out with the red R looks awesome and then more little carbon touches so these air vents here changed into carbon fiber and the tires are completely sort of semi-slick Toyo tires. So apparently the grip is insane on this thing and the tire writing as well. So he actually bought this car. He's done the visual changes to it, but the engine changes, he, he bought it the way it is. It's got a few other little details around. GTR logo blacked out here. Side uh, skirt, which is completely carbon and actually pretty massive. A side skirt's one of those things which you don't necessarily notice it. It's not the first thing you notice when you come up close to a car, like a front splitter, which is instantly recognizable, but it adds such a different dynamic to the car. Now tints, fully tinted rear window and the back here. It was tinted around front here, but he got stopped and you're not allowed to have the tints like this in France. So therefore had to rip those off. Black here on the door handles, which is actually kind of very Aston Martin-esque uh, door handle. Looks really cool. Painted black roof. So this is not a wrap that has been painted. And then round back, so still those semi-slick Toyo tires. Blacked out reflectors right here, which actually I forgot to show you, he's done on the front as well, which is a nice detail. Again, not necessarily noticeable at first, but once you've seen it, you've noticed it, you think how ugly that would look if it was uh, white or orange. Then round back, few other differences so tinted rear light i find it super important when you do the rear lights tinted to leave the white bits untinted because if that was all blacked out it just wouldn't look quite as i mean i wouldn't i don't wouldn't say it necessarily looks classy now it looks cool classy is probably not the word but it would be even less classy if you had it fully tinted out i love it i think this is really good i'm doing this on the scooter rear soon um, I just think it looks great. What else do we have we have a well obviously the wing but we'll get there rear diffuser carbon fiber with these kind of shark fin details as well. Looks awesome. Uh, again, one of those little details, which when you start adding things up, makes a big difference. Tinted there as well. We've got the wing, which is very Lamborghini-esque, very angular rear wing. It's not massive. You see GTRs with much bigger wings. This one's not particularly huge, so not sure how much of a you know downforce effect it really has. But uh, looks pretty cool, finished in black as well. And then obviously full titanium exhaust. Apparently this thing shoots massive flames. GTRs, as you know, have a reputation to do so. Apparently he's got videos on his Instagram we're gonna show because I'm not gonna be able to put uh, a GoPro. Apparently it's quite risky putting a GoPro as well because it gets so warm that they unstick often and they never stick quite as well on a wrap. So we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be filming it all pretty simply. I really love these kind of videos now where we just literally discover um, someone's car every time it's either a friend of mine from Monaco a garage we work with or a subscriber's car every Friday we try and discover a new car uh, and I really enjoy the doing this at the moment so let's check the inside um, GTR has actually never been kind of renowned for the interior and there's nothing wrong with it it's just not particularly wow but you know the price point of these is much more interesting than some of the cars well most of the cars that it can keep up with. The performance, the bang for your buck performance wise is insane. 
and you're going to have to make a little bit of a sacrifice somewhere. And a lot of people say that that is the interior. Um, I don't. I really actually don't mind the interior. This one is really nicely done. So you got, this is an original. So this is a stock piece. This hasn't been changed. Alcantara and leather steering wheel. So we've got a little red detail here, red stitching. We've also got extended paddles on this one. Now that was added after uh, aftermarket, but uh, really, really nice. And that kind of adds so much more character. Very Ferrari kind of 599 GTO-esque paddles on this one, finishing carbon fiber. Now, all of this looks like carbon. It's actually wrapped, um, but incredibly well done. This is a really complicated piece to wrap and they've done it really, really well. So it's done up here as well, completely wrapped in carbon. What's really cool when they came out, everyone was kind of freaking out about this. On the screen here, you can have so many uh, different pieces of information, your lap times, your G-forces, etc. So that's a cool touch. And then here, you can change all of your suspension settings, etc. into the different modes. It's got the Bose sound system from the GTR. And these seats apparently uh, hold you in quite nicely, uh, whilst also being quite comfortable for long drives. So very, very cool. We've then got, what do we have behind us? Two back seats, which are real back seats, much more spacious than in like an Aston or a 911. You can really put four people in this car. I mean, you're not going to be driving, you know, from the south of France up to London with four people, but you can definitely use it after a dinner or something to bring people back. You've got a big boot as well behind, but where the magic happens here, if we pull this, is with the engine. So the engine, as you will see, has been fiddled with quite a bit. So let's see if I can find the... Uh, the thing to unlock there we go so very very colorful lots of carbon fiber so carbon around here we've got the carbon fiber strut as well back there which has been added and the color isn't only around the actual engine bay it's with all of the bolts as well that have been colored now this car um can run on ethanol or 98 fuel 98 we're talking about 600 uh, and 90 brake horsepower and over 700 if you've got ethanol in it ethanol fuel so very very powerful Ooh, we've got carbon added here as well um it's got a bunch of torque i mean it's it's a modified gti it was done by uh jl racing i believe uh their name is in france here who are kind of the gtr experts it's got about 30 between 35 and 40 thousand euros of modifications this car so yeah it's been done to a high level um but when you're when you're having a good time with these and you want to modify them you want to make sure you do it properly because it can either be the best decision you ever make and completely change the car or the worst decision you ever make and just break all the time so anyways enough talking about it let's actually go experience how this thing drives all right let's hop in we're already up in the mountains now actually we've gone for a little drive this thing guys is insane so you have a normal mode and you have a godzilla mode which you actually do through the bluetooth on the phone um and so you pick through an app see godzilla right there and the godzilla mode basically makes this car lose its brain um it's absolutely insane so let's put this seat belt on you got a little thing which will give you a seat belt that's quite cool um and it shoots flames and you can hear it first of all i mean you can hear the car in general because it sounds insane but occasionally it'll make like a huge pop and it sounds far and you just know there's a massive flame coming out the back. So there you go. Do you hear it? That, oh, <laughs> every one of those pops is a massive flame. So we've got right here all of our information, our oil pressure, water temperatures, uh, you've got the time, your oil, uh, everything. And you can go through different settings here. It is absolutely crazy. I mean, you can even go to your, like, oops, I pressed something. There you go. You can have basically whatever you want. I mean, this is, you know, how much you're using fuel-wise, but you got your side Gs, you got your uh, braking, acceleration, all of this. And uh, so this is 2012, but uh, even on the first cars, the 2009s, it was similar. But listen, this noise is crazy. Can you hear it? The Godzilla mode gives it those huge flames, but it also makes the car act slightly weirdly. Ready? Oh. I mean, what an animal. What an animal. Oh. I mean, that's an explosion. 
I don't know if you can, if you can hear me because it makes so much noise. Ready? Bang! Insane! There you go. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. And it never disappoints. Oh! Animal! And each one of those is a flame. And we're going to try and insert Instagram videos they've got because the flames. It's insane. I mean, the Godzilla mode, you couldn't find a better name for it. Crazy. Are they going to be, you know, sometimes if you, oh no, it's a national holiday, so there's no cool cars. Sometimes there's cool cars out here. But yeah. I mean, um, kind of speaks for itself. Plenty of power. Sounds incredible. Uh, yeah, we're running now on ethanol, so we've got over 700 horsepower. <laughs> it's just non-stop. I mean, these guys are going to be terrified of what's coming. So it does make the car act slightly weird. Um, but when you take the Godzilla mode off, this car is super practical. We've got a friend in the back. Hello. Hello. And so we've got the back seat. So we're three people up. We could go do our shopping. Um, all of the modes are basically in hardcore mode. Um, and it is an absolute beast. So this is the setting that you prefer, your favorite, which is speed, time, and then all the temperatures that you need. So obviously when you're running it this way, you need to keep an eye on everything that's going on. But uh, no, it is an absolute animal. Just that little run right there makes you realize how nuts these things are. And you know, you hear so much about GTRs. And I think this one is like kind of spot on because you get the 800, 900, 1000 horsepower cars, but then you sacrifice a lot of your reliability. Apparently this car runs perfectly. You got 700 horsepower, sounds insane, shoots flames, yet you can kind of, which is what's so great about these GTRs is you can still use it kind of daily. The only other cars that really kind of have that are maybe like, VF engineering, supercharged hurricanes or things like that, which push out crazy uh, horsepower, but you can still daily drive them like Parker did from Vehicle Merchants and stuff. But yeah, this is um, this is quite the experience. So, I mean, it kind of spoke for itself. I don't know how much more we can really say. Every one of those bangs, no, but too long. Every one of those bangs is just a crazy, crazy flame. Um, so yeah, you're not going anywhere very discreetly with this, but you're gonna have a bloody good time while you go. And the acceleration, it sticks you uh, to the seat. It, it's, it's actually like a neck workout, this thing. Um, but yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for showing us the car. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I really enjoy these types of videos. We're gonna end it here because we're driving into town, so nothing very interesting is gonna happen from now on. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it quick little drive in a GTR. I'm really enjoying these new types of videos where we show subscribers, friends, or garages, cars. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll be seeing you again very soon. I'll be putting all of the Instagram links down below. He's changing cars all the time, so there's plenty of interesting stuff there. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.